Personal protective equipment is needed now more than ever, and that is why Monument Health is finding a way to properly sterilize masks so they can be reused. Kettle and Sidney Thorson tells us how this new procedure can help protect caregivers. Ultraviolet light towers that are normally used to decontaminate patient rooms now have another important purpose. The caregivers um, return their um, used masks in a brown paper bag. We collect those in the morning, reprocess them, put them back in a white clean bag with a note attached. People have our marking their masks with their names and the date that they use them. We use them for approximately five times. We make a mark every time we reprocess the mask. The staff can sterilize about 1,900 masks each day. About 20 masks will go under the radiation light for seven and a half minutes before they're deployed back to the healthcare workers. Right now, the number of cases of COVID-19 are increasing in the state. We're all trying to anticipate for a time when there might be, you know, a crisis, hopefully there won't be, but there certainly is a shortage of the N95s. Staff members also leave kind notes on these white paper bags to let the caregivers know they are appreciated. So I think that puts our caregivers at ease knowing that they will have these protection equipment readily available for them and we can process it ourselves within our own hospital. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. And Monument Health is coordinating with other regional health care systems to set up the same procedure.